Happy Tuesday, MSA. This week on Monday, we had Indigenous Peoples Day. In honor of Indigenous Peoples Day, we will be creating totem poles and studying about totem poles. Totem poles are an art created by many Native American tribes. Native American is another word for Indigenous people. You will have the option to draw a totem pole in your sketchbook. Or if you have the time and materials, you can create your own 3D totem pole. in our area were known as the Santee or the Siwi tribes. The Pacific Northwest was the region where Native Americans started to create totem poles. As you can see, there's many different tribes that are part of this tradition. Here is Charleston, where we live. And if I zoom out, you can see how far away the Pacific Northwest is from the Atlantic Southeast. Charleston is. That blue dot is us. We zoom in all the way to the other side of the country. And this is where the tribes resided and still reside to this day. So if I zoom out, you can see the red dot and the blue dot. Watch the next few videos to see how totem poles are made and respected by Native American Our people. Embodied. In the Pacific Northwest, memories and ties that bind are embodied in one of Native America's most iconic structures, totem poles. Like wampum belts, totem poles record the history of war, kinship, and leaders. But totem poles are often misunderstood. You know, the saying low man on a totem pole doesn't really equate at all. They're just about all as equally as important as the next guy. And, you know, the, the guy on the bottom supporting everything else above him. So it actually seems a little backwards. The power of the pole comes from the cedar tree. Cedar is central to the lives of the native peoples of the Northwest. It is used to make clothing, storage chests, and ceremonial masks. For Kwak Waka Walk carvers, Alan Hunt and Bo Dick, cedar is a portal to the past. There's a certain relationship that our people have with the cedar tree. It reconnects us with our ancestors, with our story, with our identity, and it's just really sacred to us. Each grain is a year, and you become sensitized to it the more you work it. Uh, you feel it cutting through each year in time. My grandfather did that. My great-grandfather did that. My great-great-great-grandfather did that. They all did it. I'm following their footsteps. And that's really personal. And we share that. We're following what was provided by our ancestors and the relationship that they had with the Creator. My name is um, Bill Haleen. I'm a Shimshan North West Coast Native artist, and uh, I've been practicing my Aboriginal art career for the past 37 years. So my creation of a totem pole starts finding the right log and prepping it so that I can design it and apply a design. And I work with chainsaws and quite a variety of different types of extremely sharp and dangerous tools.
this project has all the elements that it takes to not only work with your hands but also to visually understand uh, the importance of this design process. This totem pole story is quite exciting in the sense that it, it communicates everything from the learning which is found in the box, which is the base of the, the totem pole, and in that box is found wisdom and knowledge, and that is the greatest treasure passed on by the teacher. So that teacher spirit with the hands up is letting the three dolphins swim up to the eagle, which speaks of the, the students swimming towards their next journey beyond this learning institution. This has been one of the most rewarding projects that I've worked on. Well, I hope that the, the totem pole will be a lasting essence of multicultural. It's really important that this message carries on. The next video will show you how to choose which animals you want to include on your totem pole. These documents will be added to the Google post for you to view later. So your assignment for this week is to create your own totem pole. You can do a sketchbook version or you can do your materials version. You can do one animal, two animals, even nine animals. Just make sure you add color and are being thoughtful about the types of animals that you choose. Always remember, never forget, have fun with it.